here and Wesley. Hey. So this time we got another free movie actually. Yeah, that was nice. Um, sorry we're behind in world like viewing movie standards because this movie was out a lot long time ago. Hey, it's it's, it's Hong Kong. Kong. All yeah. the movies are late. <sighs> so sad. But anyway, this movie review is The Place Beyond the Pine starring Ryan Gosling Ooh. and Bradley Cooper. Ooh. If, if that isn't girl bait for a movie, I, know, I like, don't know like, what it is. But it, hilariously enough, it's not really a girl movie. No. It's too bad. If they put Jordan, Joseph Gordon-Levitt... Oh. Uh, speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, okay, so we got the director, Derek Sion France, because he's American, so we're not putting any French anything into his name. Uh, he directed Blue Valentine. I did not watch that or have heard anything about it. So let's skip about his directorial debut. Yeah, the plot pretty much is Ryan Gosling is a crazy speedster and he does bank heises. And then Bradley Cooper is a cop who's caught up in all this bad cop stuff and that's you might want to be a little oh, okay we can get we can get more specifically <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it and things happen and their lives intertwine and then things come full circle yeah yeah i, I was doing this a lot in the movie I'm just wow okay so yeah that's obviously super general and then there's eve mendez as uh, ryan gosling's uh, sort of partner girlfriend? girlfriend i don't know what she is yeah i think girlfriend and then rose Bynes as the wife of bradley cooper and so that's pretty much for the cast so Storyline. It started. It started out kind of like Drive. It was where too Ryan much Drive. Go, where, where Ryan Gosling is a kind of poor person who's very good at driving vehicles, and so turns to a life of crime to support a woman with a child. Yep. Have you heard that one before? <laughs> never. Yeah. And he never talks to yeah. people. He's supremely rude. Yeah. He he does the whole uh, when they when someone asks him a question, he like waits two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the signature like, Gosling now. Come on, it's answer like, the question. Can you like not like be stuck in time or something? Yeah. Eventually the heist goes wrong and Bradley Cooper is the only cop there and he ends up shooting him before uh, before he they shoot each other, but Bradley Cooper shoots first and Ryan Gosling dies. Spoiler but so, alone. Well if you didn't want spoilers, you shouldn't watch the review before you see the movie. Yeah. Um and then it turns into like a police drama where Bradley Cooper has to live with the fact that he lied about the criminal shooting first. Mm -hmm. And then he's all caught up with like this money from all the bank heises that Gosling did because for some reason they just want the hero that killed him to give the money. No, it makes it, it makes sense later. Yeah, and then he doesn't do anything with the money. He just which is which is smart. Well, I don't know. That was the one sort of like plot line. He was like, because he didn't want the money. Then he should have gave it up like right away. But he didn't know what to do with it. Well, he's an idiot. Anyway, that's personal. Because he didn't want to rat out his friends. Oh, but this is against the law. That's one thing I couldn't buy if he saw justice. Yeah, because he didn't. He didn't know, man. Oh man, problems. And then the movie ends with pretty much the kids. It turns and, into disconnect at the end, where it's two, yeah, two just, kids who like, don't have many friends, like, and what? they turn to drugs. What? Someone gets someone gets beat up. Yeah. One kid shoots the other kid. Yeah. And it was just nuts. Yeah. So there's like three movies in one. So you got Drive, Bradley Cooper, and something. And, A police um, drama. Police drama, and then disconnect with children and drugs. So if you want the best, the best bang, <laughs> bang for your buck. The bang for your buck. <laughs> watch this actually, movie. I, I feel like we're kind of saying this like it's a bad thing, but actually it's it's not really. The movie manages to tie the three yeah. together really well. It kept me interested yeah, all the way yeah, through. Like, I mean, I heard people say like, oh, it's three movies put into one, or like, the first hour and the third one totally doesn't have anything to do with the other, or whatever. And I'm like, okay. So I sort of expected that. I, I totally expected not seeing Bradley Cooper for a while, and he wasn't there until like, I was surprised they. I was surprised they just killed off Ryan Gosling. It was like bam. Like, and I'm wow. like, what? Didn't he like? like wow, he's just gone. He has died. So yeah. So, yeah, so. I, I love how like the when um after Ryan Gosling falls out the window, like you can see he's so dead. He is like so his dead. eyes are lifeless and there's blood pooling out from the back of his head and there's a gunshot wound in his chest and the two other cops come out of nowhere and they they're like, hey. Are you okay? <laughs> like, like, dude, who wrote that script? Really? Okay. Like, stop moving. Put your gun down. I'm like, really? Sir, are you okay? Gosh. Like, look at him. like, he's dead. What do you like? 
What did I like? What did you like? That's actually kind of hard to say. Yeah. I mean, um, like, the performances, yeah, the performances from both leads are... For me, anyway, Ryan Gosling was pretty much Ryan Gosling from The Drive. Yeah. And um, Bradley Cooper was pretty much, you know, himself from all the movies that he's been in, except for Hangover. Hangover pretty much is different from everything that he's been in, actually. And um, the the wives were pretty much useless, I would say. They could. They were pretty much cardboard cutouts. They were just, oh my goodness, you're worrying just me. But I guess the movie's not really about that. The movie was labeled as the story of two fathers and their sons. Yeah. So, you know what? Fine. Yeah. yeah. So, and then, when, and then now we get to the sons. I mean, one of the sons, um, who is it? Uh, Ryan Gosling's son is one of the kids from uh, Chronicles, so that's kind of cool to see. Actually, at one point he gets beat up and he kind of looks like Mark Hamill from The Empire Strikes Back because his face is all like, <laughs> I have expected him to say, no, that's impossible! <laughs> And then we got a Val Kilmer looking. Yeah, he looks kid. like Val Kilmer, and he's about as big too. Yeah. Like the dude. Yeah. The dude has chest hair. Anybody's supposed to be what? Seventeen. Seven, seven, okay, you know maybe, but but it was pretty. Dude is jacked. Yeah. So yeah, so that's what we liked, and what we didn't like was not that much. I mean, nitpicking this movie good. is yeah, not. It's yeah. hard. You can nitpick, sure, but yeah, but it was like oh, as a oh, whole, it was, yeah. it, was, it was a good film. I mean, like. Like like these films where like your main character dies and the new one replaces him, it's like it's it's tough to do. So the fact that they did it well, and the fact they do it again with the kids later on, because mm -hmm. Bradley Cooper and that, it was like wow. Oh, like, sorry if we didn't mention that um, the two the two kids, uh, Bradley Cooper's son ends up befriending uh, the son of Ryan Full Gosling. circle. Yeah, full circle, huh? So yeah, that's pretty much it for the storyline. So it was not bad. I mean, the acting was like this good. The the wives, you know, were a little bit. One dimensional. Yeah. I mean, but, like, yeah. But that's not what it's about. They're not. They're hardly in the movie. They might as well just whatever. Whatever. They just need to be there, right? Yeah. I mean, like, like yeah, that transition from each main mm -hmm. character cast was done well. Because I mean, even with the kids, because they're like these are their sons, so you would actually want to know. Yeah. It wasn't like no, I don't give a crap about these kids. Go back to Bradley Cooper. They were interesting characters. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much it for like this movie review. Yeah. It was enjoyable. In one word. In one what word. would you call this movie? <laughs> One word. Oh my gosh. Pretty much. That's three. Oh, OMG. OMG. Om I'd OMG. call it solid. It's a good yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Solid. Funny enough, I was looking at Wikipedia and then the director is uh, directing a another movie called The Light Between Oceans. Wow. Wow. So maybe they can focus on the wives this time. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Anyway, so that's pretty much it for this movie review for The Place Beyond. The Pines. Is it beyond or between? Between? Beyond? Beyond? I think it's I think between. it's beyond. No, no, no. It's between beyond and... It's beyond. Oh, okay. Beyond. Anyway, that's it. Bye-bye.